What is up everybody? We are uh, making a road trip today. We're headed down to Ibex in uh, American Falls. We're going to check out um, their new Pro R turbo kit that they've had for a couple months. They've been working on it, prototyping it, getting it all dialed in. and Now they're getting ready to launch it to uh, the public basically. It's, it's ready to go. So we're going to go check out a couple cars they have being built right now um, and just show you what's going on our Carl Malone Pro R that we're building. I'm pretty excited about it. Plus, while we're down there, I'll show you my red car, my drag car that I have that's going to be up for sale here soon to fund the Pro R project. But it, uh, it's got the compound turbo kit on it, and it's finally going to be coming back to life here pretty quick. We have a drag race that we're doing in Idaho Falls. It's like the American Throwdown Dirt Drag Races or something along those lines. So we're going to be doing a drag race with it here within the next little bit. So pretty excited about that but it'll be fun to have that back for at least a little bit before we list it up to sell so I'll show you that and uh, stay tuned she is that pro r that's the one we're coming down to look at that's one of four that they have turbo kits on they've got alex's which is his uh two-seater that they first started building the kit for they've got that one that was like their first customer car yet it's still got a lot of prototype stuff on it so they're still learning but the other two cars in there i'll just do a quick overview that one's going to have all of the final stuff so pretty excited to go see this car see what this kit's all about and I'm pretty pumped that's going to be going on my pro that I got from Carl Malone it is going to be a uh, it's going to be a beast I'm excited about it all right we are down here today at Ibex to go over their their new pro R turbo kit here with Alex from Ibex and this is uh, one of their customer Michael Siemens car and this is their new turbo kit. So Alex, tell me about your turbo kit. So we've got, we're using a 4951S Zona Turbo. So top of the line turbo, completely US made. And you do that because there's no lag. It's just instant spool. Yeah, yeah, so we can run with the Zona the way that you can run as we can size everything smaller, but still get the same amount of flow, still get the same amount of horsepower out of it. So we're using a top of the line turbo and that's, Kind of more or less what we got. So <clears throat> 4951S, we've done um, kind of a unique style uh, dump valve for it that you can order with or without, depending on what you want to do. This one's a prototype one. We did some testing on it, so there's a bung here, a bung there. Um, we've actually changed the design of this. Um, this is prototype again, but we've changed the design of this, so that will be coming out on production in the coming months. The wastegate, as you can see, is clear back there, so it's hidden out of the way, nice and clean. You don't get to see it. Um, that was kind of the main idea of this kit was to make it nice and clean, which is another reason why we're moving this because we didn't like the way that it looked. Um, the air filtration system, again, you can opt with it or without it, depending on what kind of riding style you do. Michael does everything from sand to dirt to desert to everything. I mean, the Pro R's got suspension that's out of this world. So we have a filtration system that we came up with, um, that is actually better than stock um, what it does is, is when the air is sucked from the stock filtration system through the air filter it actually spins the air so it's a little bit like a particle separator now it's not nearly as effective as a particle separator but the idea is there and it does help with getting it um, cleaner air to your motor again it's big enough to flow the horsepower that these kind of things are flowing i mean this is a big motor so it needs takes a lot of air <clears throat> the other thing we're doing is we went to a water to air intercooler the first system we had was an air to air uh, the water to air made it so that we could make everything compact. Um, water to air is more consistent. Ambient air temperature changes. It doesn't change the water temperature as much and everything. So you get a cleaner tune, a finer running machine. Your intake air temperatures or your, your charge air temperatures stay um, better. That's that guy right in there. It's completely hidden out of the way. You can't see it once it's installed. Um, then this is the radiator from the backside. Again, you can use your bed. Uh, none, no cutting on the bed. Um, you know you can get the stock filtration system or you can opt for just our high flow air filter if you're just a sand guy um, then 
the radiator um, works obviously for the water to air intercooler. We mounted it up here, CNC plate, um, high flow fan, our water pump, um, our catch can. We're kind of toying with a couple of different catch cans. This is the one that we used in our compound kit. Um, so there's a couple of different options that we're toying with trying to figure out what, uh, what we're doing. We're doing big injectors. Um, this one is on pump gas, eight pounds of boost. The uh, dyno that we did was on six pounds. We dynoed 281 on the rev limiter. So this one we're ballparking around 310 to the ground, 320 on, on uh, pump gas. So uh, we're pretty excited. It turns these big old 37s. Yeah, they're, uh, they're huge. I don't know if you guys have seen the video Michael posted. It's been around online, climbing rocks, just hammer down. Yeah, yeah, no. And, and that's the thing is with, with, with how fast this pulls, you, you don't, um, your rock, crawling guys it doesn't hinder any of the drivability with that you can still use the three mode switches on your on your dash for all that um, so it's really it spools you know quick enough that it's not out of control but yet you don't feel the the lag um, obviously with the clutching that we use um, yeah. again we do it completely different than anybody else we're running 76 grams in this machine at eight pounds of boost the stock ones run 114 now this is all comes back to our geometry um, system that we use on on all of the stuff that we develop which is why we can run lighter than anybody else so you know you're not slinging a bunch of mass which when you sling a bunch of mass you start putting you know a bunch of power to these things you start your your response starts to go down if you notice um, some of the other guys are running upwards of 130 145 you know grams of weight per arm that, that's a lot of weight it takes a lot to get that rotating mass spinning um, so we lightened up the weights makes it more responsive your in and out throttle it makes it a lot more fun to drive I mean, that's what we focused on we can you can build a bunch of horsepower with it i mean this turbo is limited to 500 horse um there's guys using bigger turbos but that's just a quick change turbo change and off we go yeah um this one was built for drivability it's quick for quick spool and we got you know a lot more horsepower than we were guessing out of it just because of the flow i do like how you have the quiet exhaust but then you can open the dump yeah let me start it up for you and you guys can listen to it real quick all right, Alex is gonna start it up for us. Instead of the fan when you turn the key on this one doesn't have it yet but it will by the time it leaves here tomorrow so the fan on here yes the fan on here and the water pump when you turn the key on these are on all the time it's kind of annoying yeah. so what we did was we came up with a system that actually if the system ever ever builds more than two pounds of boost that stuff will turn on and it'll turn on for 45 seconds um, until you go below two pounds of boost so say you get to the top of a mountain after you've been running it hard you turn around in like 20 seconds and you shut the key off the whole system will stay running. It'll keep the water flowing. It'll keep the, the, the fan going for around 45 seconds and then it'll shut off. But if you drive through the parking lot and you see one of your buddies, you want to stop, you turn the key off, it's off because you never went over the two pounds of boost or four pounds of boost. I can't remember which one it is. And so it's not on all the time, which was something we found really annoying with the Can-Ams and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, the Can-Ams, you know, with the stock ECU control, you could do stuff like that. But we wanted to kind of make it that way so we made it so that the water pump and that keep flowing after you shut the key off after a hard pull you know kind of like a turbo timer it's pretty important to keep the water flowing and all that so like i said 45 seconds and then you're back into uh and then it shuts off and it'll stay off um, so it's not annoying all the time just sitting there on plus with the one fan system that we've got it tucked back on under here you don't hear it nearly as much as you do you know with it being up by the engine bay or something like yeah, that with these big things that's a it's a long way for the yeah. driver to hear that. Yeah, my uh, little two-seater looks like a baby next to it. <laughs> well, 37s don't help. That's insane. I dig it. So yeah, complete stock filtration system. Um, you can use your bed, so you're not sacrificing any bed life. Water to air intercooler, which obviously keeps your air or your charge temperatures more consistent. Um, and it's on the side of the motor pushing so it's bringing air from here pushing it across the side of the motor and everything so it keeps 
flowing heat out of the engine bay, which obviously keeping Helps. heat away from it is always better. So yeah. Fun. Now you're tuning on HP tuners. HP tuners. Yeah. We'll have an RTD device here uh, the next couple of days. So just with an app, we'll have. Um, We'll have a pump gas, race gas, and E85 is next. Um, we'll see where the limit of this motor and the... Uh, <laughs> see what happens? <laughs> see, what happens. <laughs> see if we can throw a rod out the side. From what I understand, they take a lot of boosts. So, amazing package that's been put together. Um, it's, pretty stout, it's a pretty stout motor. Yep. And this, uh, they're probably going to ask, but that is, again, a prototype system. This is just to fill the radiator. Um, we had it kind of mounted up here. We've changed that since. That will all be coming out here in the next couple of weeks. So keep an eye on our Facebook page, UTV Invasion um, page. and We'll have updates because this is actually the kit that's going on my Pro R that I picked up from Carl Malone last week. So we just have to wait for more parts to get here. And I'm not a patient person. So And the, the wires that that relay system will all be hidden up underneath so you will not see that as a customer yeah this, this is your first kit cleanliness yeah and michael's been he's been really putting it to the test yeah he's <laughs> that was kind of a test to see uh what his thoughts were with going out um in Moab and getting the rock crawling side of it because you know everybody knows in the sand you pretty much pedal to the metal all the time so yeah that one we weren't too worried about but I was curious about what he thought about the whole clutching package and everything so again that that clutching it comes with clutching it comes with tuning um, and all the installation parts turbo manifold so everything you need reliable yes to make you it reliable take, you'll have options um, to change like the down pipe and stuff like that to kind of maybe uh, get a get it more turret uh, more for your type of riding yeah um, customize it to how you yeah customize it to your, that's you were making that. another downpipe that yes. kind of shortened this up right here so it wasn't sticking yeah. out as far yeah so so we kind of we cleaned up the angles a little bit more um like I say this is the very first one that was built um with with this system and then we will be coming out but that's going to be a little bit with a full exhaust system that doesn't hook to the stock one but any any muffler that hooks to the stock downpipe will hook to this one so we made it like that. Like on mine, I personally have I have the stock down pipe um, with a with an RPM um, cutout or not cutout uh, chamber muffler. And I've got some videos. I'll slide in of this thing out in the street just testing around. the down pipe these these will not be there they'll be on top this is just for testing so I'm taking this down to sand mountain put some time on it yep now, Alex sent me some videos the other day doing some pulls with this one so I'll I'll put those in here so you guys oh can and see. you do yeah you do have the option of the launch control now too oh yeah LCM yep yeah which uh and this is on this is on higher boost right yeah, now. Yeah, this one's on, tw it was on 12 pounds. It's back down to 10 right now. Um, so we will be getting dyno with this as soon as it comes back from the sand dunes. We'll be throwing it on the dyno to get some dyno numbers for people. That'll be fun. Dynos are always fun. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You guys haven't seen that or seen this yet. This is my car I haven't driven for a while, but it's about to come back. We got a drag race coming up in a, about two weeks. She's dirty. She's been sitting for a while, but. Well, FP green, beating a 2860. Yeah, this thing, I haven't driven this car for a year, but it'll be ready to go next week or two weeks. We have a race at uh, Sandy Downs. It's uh, called the American Throwdown, I believe is what they call it, and it's a dirt drag race. So this thing will be making its debut back for that. Getting pretty excited. All right, we're gonna take it out for a quick little drive just to see 
what it'll do. And uh, Michael, Alec, Alex told me to. So keep that in mind. All right. All right, guys, just to do a quick wrap up on the Ibex turbo kit. Hope you guys liked what you saw. I really did. I was impressed with that turbo kit. Um, that Zona turbo spool is really quick. I love the air to water intercooler, so you don't have to get sacrifice your bed and you can still have all that full functionality there. So pretty sleek design. Um, really excited to get one. I've already put my order in. So as soon as the next or round of uh, manifolds get here, we'll do an install vid, get everything going on that. So you guys can see kind of how it goes together. Um, Alex is going to get his on the dyno shortly so he can get some numbers, uh, post those up. So we'll do a video on that. Um, he's thinking he's going to get some pretty decent numbers out of it. So we'll see. Uh, we'll have that up soon. And I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, just comment down below. We'll answer your questions the best we can. And then uh, if you liked what you saw, just subscribe, like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. And again, we appreciate you and thank you.